Amazon Beauty Must Haves Part 6. This fan that is disguised as a perfume bottle, it has three speeds and it helps to set your makeup and speed up drying time. These nail soak off clips will help you save a trip to the nail salon. It comes in a pack of 10 and it's way more effective than foil for less than 4 bucks. This beauty blender holder that has ventilation so your sponge can air dry, I use it to store my beauty blender on my vanity, but you can also pack it up for easy traveling. Amazon Beauty Must Haves Part 5. This gets any color off of your makeup brushes in seconds. Here's a quick swatch so you guys know there's actually product on it, but you just have to swirl it a couple times and it completely erases all of the pigment. This storage container for your makeup sponges, it comes in the cutest colors and the quality is identical to the name brand ones, if not better. These seamless hair ties are so soft and they won't crease or break your hair. I have thick long hair and this is the only way I can stand to wear a high pony. Five cool beauty products I got on Amazon. This little pore scrubber is great to clear out blackheads and whiteheads. You just rub it around your nose and chin area or wherever you have blackheads. Foliating brush, you can use it on your lips or even on areas where you have whiteheads and blackheads. I like using these two in combination. It's a five color blush stack. This cute little panda refreshes and hydrates the under eye area. This hyaluronic acid serum hydrates your skin without clogging your pores and is really affordable. Amazon favorites part four. Okay, this one is a gem. You get 15 pairs of cute earrings for $13.99. And they have the good earring backings. I tried them all on and I'm obsessed. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this is such a good deal. If you have Prime, there's free shipping and returns. Let's talk about Amazon things you didn't know you needed, Beauty Room Edition Part 2. First up is this mini fridge, which stores my skincare perfectly. You can also throw some little snacks in here. It's adorable. Then we have this acrylic organizer, which stores my sponges, Q-tips, and cotton rounds. It was pretty inexpensive and looks very sleek on my desk. I have a million and one brushes, and this brush holder was a game changer. It rotates, so it makes them very accessible when I'm doing looks. If you do soap brows, trust me, you need this. It's such a messy thing to do, but this keeps it really clean. And lastly is this tissue cover. It's marble, and it just helps my desk look more cohesive. All the links are in my bio. Six skincare must-haves from Amazon, part two. These patches are great for spot treating your pimples. Before bed, I'll apply a patch directly to a pimple, and when I wake up, it's noticeably smaller and less red. Egyptian Magic is literally a magic cream that can do it all. You can use it as a face cream, an eye cream, a foot cream, and even a hair mask. If your face is really puffy when you wake up or you have inflammation, then you need this ice roller. I keep mine in my freezer and I use it every morning when I wake up. I have been using this Philosophy face wash on and off for so many years and I can't recommend it enough. It's super gentle and it washes your face and melts away your makeup. I typically apply it directly to my facial cleanser and then begin washing my face. And lastly, this face cream. It's a great daily moisturizer and it works for so many different skin types. Five things from Amazon that just make sense. A chargeable lighter for your candle so that you never have to go to restaurants and hoard all those matchsticks. An ice roller for mornings after you watch Korean dramas because if you're not crying after crash landing on you, then you have no soul. A portable blender for your smoothies and juices, especially on days when you're just running out the door. A pretty egg holder for your eggs because, come on, those containers that eggs are sold in are so damn ugly. A separate LED grow light for your plants for apartments that don't get much natural sunlight. Amazon Beauty Must Haves. First up is this LED mirror. It has three brightness levels and it folds flat for travel. Next is a self tanning cream. It's super lightweight and moisturizing and blends beautifully. The scent is light and it gives you a nice buildable tan. Next up is this hairbrush that's great for at home blowouts. Not to be gross, but if you have dry cracked feet, you need this foot file. It makes your feet baby soft. And if you're looking for a product to brighten up your under eyes and make you look more awake, you need this eye balm. Two cool beauty products I ordered on Amazon. So these here are cheek and eye patches. They come in a heart shape for your cheeks. You can break them in half for your eyes. Applying them on my cheeks, under my eyes. This face cleanser pumps out in the shape of a rose. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. 
in this tiktok i'm going to be showing you some recent purchases from amazon all of the items are beauty and body related and i would highly recommend all of them first i got this electric nail file while i'm unable to go out and get a manicure and a pedicure it comes with loads of different attachments and accessories it's ideal for removing gel polish and acrylics and it's powered by usb cable Next I got this handheld fan. I initially got this while I had eyelash extensions to dry and fluff up my lashes. Now I like to use it to dry my setting spray while I'm doing my makeup. It's really compact but powerful and the design is really cute and extra. Next I got these Korean exfoliating towels. I am so so impressed by these, they leave your skin feeling so soft and smooth afterwards. The red ones are more abrasive than the green ones. They're also reusable and machine washable. These rubber mats to wash your makeup brushes came in a twin pack and they're so cheap but durable. They can stick to the inside of your sink. They're really good for thoroughly but quickly washing your brushes. Thanks, bye! Favorite Amazon products part 4 This little toiletry bag for traveling is one of my favorites. I love it because there's a little hook so you can hang it up and easily get to and see all of your stuff. There's a lot of different compartments and pockets to it so it can actually hold quite a bit of stuff and just folds up nicely in your suitcase and I take it with me every single time I travel. This little electric trimmer for your face, it works like a tinkle razor except for it's just electric and it just helps to get all the peach fuzz off of your face so your skin's nice and smooth and it doesn't hurt at all and it's super easy to use. I've been loving this little portable steamer, it's so much more convenient than an iron and also just great for when you're in a hurry and your clothes are wrinkly and it's perfect for traveling. It's always fun to try new face masks and I've really been liking this Dead Sea Mud Mask. It's great for tightening your skin and just reducing the appearance of pores. Lastly, the silicone case for my AirPods keeps them nice and clean. They don't slip around so I can find them easier in my purse. Has easy access for charging and a little hook if you want to put them on a keyring. Soft, seamless hairbands. I learned about these from Ariana Grande Stylist. Your brows are thicker than you think. You just need to dye them. Keep your whole body exfoliated. Try a menstrual cup. It's worth it, I promise. This mask lives up to the hype when made with apple cider vinegar. Day one of ordering makeup because of the packaging, not the Amazon Prime packaging. As some of you guys may know, I love makeup, especially makeup that has fun packaging. So like this palette looks like a book. It's Beauty and the Beast theme. It's super cute. Another favorite from mine is the Pirates of the Caribbean palette from Lorac. Looks like this inside. And then it has this little hidden side compartment where you can store the highlighter palette, which this one I use all the time. Also, everyone freaked out the last time I cut a tear here, but it never tears here for me. The first makeup product I ordered because of the packaging I actually saw on TikTok. Beauty Glazed Color Board. Ta-da! So then when you open it all the way up, it has four layers of eyeshadows. I think this one is my favorite layer. I'm going to do full swatches on my makeup Instagram. And I ordered two because on the end of day 10, I'm going to do a giveaway on this. Stay tuned. The one thing on Amazon I can't live without, this portable phone charger. So it has a USB plug-in you can use to charge whatever you want, a mirror that also lights up, and it's a wireless charger. You just lay your phone on top. If you work at a job where you have to wear your mask all day long, or you're just uncomfortable wearing one or you feel like you can't breathe when you have it on, this Amazon find is for you. I found this silicone bracket that you can put under your mask for more space to make it more comfortable for breathing when you're wearing it. It simply holds up the mask fabric around your mouth to create more breathing room. It's really great for helping to keep your mask stay cleaner and makeup free, especially if you're acne prone. And it's reusable, washable, and comfortable to wear.
let's talk about things you didn't know you needed off of Amazon Beauty Room Edition Part 1. First up, we have this phone stand, which has been so helpful when I'm recording TikTok videos or Instagram stories and I need both hands to show off a product. Next up, we have this three compartment drawer organizer and it's acrylic and was $6. Dollars. I was shook at the price and the quality of it. I also have these smaller acrylic organizers, which are perfect for the IKEA drawers, as well as the larger version of that, which holds my foundations and a lot of my face products perfectly. Last up, we have this fan, which has been a total game changer when it comes to my setting spray. Makeup and beauty things from Amazon that just makes sense. Okay, stop scrolling. If you suffer from a super sweaty face and it totally messes up your makeup, I have a product from Amazon that's totally gonna change your life. Okay, this is the Neat 3B Face Saver Gel. It's basically an antiperspirant gel for your face. I put this on my nose, my upper lip, sometimes my forehead before any of my skincare. And you guys, I'm telling you, I do not have a sweaty face anymore. You have to try it. It's $14 on Amazon. Try it out. Top five things that every makeup lover didn't know they needed. These nail brushes are staple in my collection because they're perfect for eyeliner and they even come with a dotting tool in the end. These tatty tips are great for beginners who want to cut their crease. You already know that I do not live without these rhinestones and they're from Amazon. And of course, Inglot Duraline, which makes basically anything into a liquid. And lastly, we have these lashes from Dye Silk on Amazon. They were literally $15 for the whole thing. You wanted me to start reviewing cheap Amazon makeup brushes, so let's go. I got this 10-piece set by Dolovemic. Was I close? They're only $16.99 when I bought them a few days. Rude. Cheap makeup brush ASMR. I'm currently trying to be a dupe for my $65 Artiste brush. You guys always say it looks like a spoonful of peanut butter. Yum. Crack open a foundation brush and compare. Hmm. I can already tell you it's delightfully dense and smooth like peanut butter or an artiste brush. Here's the two brushes side by side. As always, the left side of my face is going to be the bougie side and the right side of my face is going to be the cheap side. Take off my dad glasses and get to work. Yes, work honey, slay! Here's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. And the bougie side. Hmm. Good so far, when we finish I'll give you my final result. We'll say the artiste brush feels much softer when applying. My skin's like wicked sensitive right now because I'm doing some treatment. I am really impressed with this cheap idea. Let me know what you think down below. Review the rest of the brushes on my IG stories. Or we could do a full review on my YouTube channel.